Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. Ah, oh, it's getting dark outside. This could be useful. So I wanted to get out before it got dark, but it's getting dark. And I think I'm safe out here. Uh, but over here, are you probably seeing it already? Whoa! There's some honeycomb sitting on the ground. It's a beehive. Or bee's nest. Hi, bees. It's getting dark. You should come back inside. You want to wander over that way too far. Where are you going? It's over here. You two laden with pollen, you can't get up. There we go. And there's a little baby. I bred a little baby. There were two. So I've been growing trees here with the hopes of catching a bee's nest. And we appear to have that. Oh, go inside. Uh, I'm a little nervous about having the campfire down there. Now, in theory, of course, you can never tell. But in theory, there there should be three bees in there. There were two to start with, and I bred a baby. Oh, that almost looked like another another nest. So what I'm thinking of doing is I got honeycomb here. Oh, uh, I snipped off some honeycomb last night. I mean, last night for me. Not quite full honey level. So while it's dark, and I know they're going to be inside the nest... Uh, let me go get some logs and let's build a beehive and let's place the beehive somewhere. And I should build another, let's see, I need logs, like six logs. And I think I need like three whole, uh, three, six planks and three logs, uh, a few sticks and a piece of coal or something for a campfire. Right. Yeah, so let's grab a piece of charcoal and then we should be able to do this. So we go like that and we go like campfire. Yeah, give me campfire and then I should be able to build a beehive like this. Boop. And I put the uh, these guys back away. Whoops. No, not the beehive. Put these guys back away. <laughs> and. Oh, let's go get some. I probably have some carpet, but there's a bunch of there's a bunch of sheep over here so we can get some wool. I got clippers. Let's go get some wool and let's make some carpet. Should probably dye it green, but. I only have a few cactus so far, so uh, that should be enough, right? Oops, ah, there we go, right. and I can make a carpet like this, excellent, so we have a campfire, to this chest, oh, she's got some more, you know what? Tributes. I need one of those carpets for what I'm about to do. There's only two of them, so let's just hang on to them for the moment. So, where should we be putting our bees? And this might be temporary. I might move them inside just because. Um, let's do this and let's dig a hole here plop, and put the campfire down inside the hole plop. and then we can put carpet on top of that I believe that works right but ah, look at that smoke still comes up and the bees can't fly into the flame figure out how to break that without breaking it and then 
bee's nest. Whoops. I can go up here. There's a bee's hot bee hive right there. Now that's empty. There are bees in here. Uh, I need more flowers. I've been grabbing them from around. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oops, that's not my arrow. Oh, he's walking towards me. And he's dead. Um, I have a pretty good bow here. I got an infinity book and I put it on the bow. It's a power five I'm breaking through the bow. Um, I've also got a pretty good sword going. Um, and I've got, I'm breaking in fortune pickaxes. So let's see if the silk touch, I can silk touch that. Yes, I can, excellent. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Whoa, Mr. Zombie. And I'm going to flame and knock back on here. It makes the little crowd control a little easier. There we go. Oh, they're all coming now because I killed one of their buddies. They are definitely all coming. So they have a social uh, spawning now, I guess. As long as I don't get a creeper, I'm okay. I think. I'll take your gold boots. I don't have this part of the hillside lit up at all. Oh, hey. Ha, that was the worst thing jump hit ever okay so let's do this you get this make sure there's no more zombies coming place this down here place this on top okay and then you should be okay all right now i can go put this in the chest over there <laughs> Oh, hello. You want to join the party too, huh? Okay. All right. So we now have a beehive and a bee nest. And we have, we should have at least three bees. So now if I grab some flowers. Oh, and I don't need the flowers around this because they don't actually help. The... Every time a tree grows, an oak tree or a birch tree, there's a chance it will generate a, bee, a bee's nest. And that's why I kept cutting down and planting trees over there. And it's a 5% chance. So you really only need about 20 trees to, to have a pretty good chance of getting, getting one. So let's go greet the bees. And I planted flowers around so they can create honey for me. But, oh, hear that, they're coming out. And what I wanna do is hopefully breed another bee and start filling up, up that other, that hive. Hi, how are you? Ah, they're so cute. Okay, just waiting. They'll come. Oh, he just went in. And this thing has a honey level of four, so it's close to being harvestable. And of course, I can get... I don't have any sand. Or I, I have very little sand. So I need to go on a sand adventure. Oh, hello. Oh, the baby. Uh-oh. Did we lose one of the bees? Oh, interesting. I like how the honey particles dripping onto the carpet almost make it look like they're dropping honey all over the carpet. Okay. Got more honey. So 
I can make honey blocks and I can have honey bottles. The honey bottles are kind of cool because you can use them to clear poison effects. Uh, don't quite understand the rationale behind that, but okay. So I guess I logged out fairly quickly after I bred that that baby bee, so I may have to wait a little bit for it to grow up so I can make another bee. I'm thinking, um, yeah. So while we're waiting for that. Let's go do something else. Because now that I have fortune and silk touch tools and let's do this. You can drop off. Oops, you can drop off a couple things there. Um, I showed you the skeleton spawner, which I'm still, I still haven't worked on. Uh, I haven't cleared it out or anything. Let's see if not. I don't know. Oh, flowers. I can put flowers up there. I'll put that there. Mob drops. I have some other honey here. And dirt. Still need to label all my stuff. Oh, these golden boots. Should bring those downstairs and smelt them with the rest of the, the stuff. But let me grab these. Not that I think I'll need them. I have food. I have my infinity bow. And still haven't managed. And I have I have torches. Still haven't managed to get a mending book yet. Much less like the eight or whatever that I need for all the armor and tools and everything. Um, but let's go downstairs here and see what lies beyond the spawner. I left a torch on the floor here as a marker. Of uh, There's some stuff up here. So this is... Oops. I need to clean this up because this is annoying. So there's the skeleton spawner. Again, I haven't started clearing that out or doing any prep for that. And all right. So I started exploring up here and this is where I got a lot of resources. Having a fortune pick is a huge deal because then suddenly Iron and redstone and lapis and all that stuff becomes a lot easier to deal with. So, or a lot easier to get. Okay, so, um, oh, hey, I hear, I hear a zombie somewhere. So this cave has been pretty profitable. And it's, and initially, I think what I showed you this earlier, I said it wasn't too big. I was wrong. It is monstrous. It's just not super tall. I mean, there's there's some height there. I can't wait till I can get potions so I can... Oh, look, there's iron up there. Okay, I hear a zombie. Let's get that iron. Might be a mistake, but we'll find out. up here so I can see what's going on. There's more. Is that all of it? I think so. So, and I'm glad that fortune works on iron ores as well. So that was 20. Okay. So I've just been, you know, running around trying to get this all lit up. And I've got my markers so I can find my way out because otherwise it would be easy to get lost in here. Um, and just going through and finding the dark spots and lighting them up because 
That way, the next time I come in, I can light up a little bit more. And I've been <laughs> lighting up a lot, as you can tell here. Um, Barb makes things was like, oh, how haven't you died yet? It's like, because I've been playing super paranoid. I got two branches here. I've got a big dark hole up there, and I've got some dark spots up there. So what I've been doing is just running into places like this. Throwing down a few torches, dealing with any bad guys that show up. Oh, I should put a torch up here. And... There's some lapis there. Don't forget that. Oh, goodness. There's some copper there. Oops. Oh, we can do this. And then finding big spaces like this. It's like, okay, well, some more. Just running in until either I find dead ends or I find mobs. And I fight off the mobs in as much as I can. I retreat when I need to. Whoops. I hear, see, I hear diamonds. Like, see, this opens up in a huge area over here. Whoa. Hello. Uh, that was rude. You will die now. I see glowing eyes over there. That could be Enderman. That looks like Enderman. Not ready to deal with Enderman just at the moment. Like all these ores. I will grab some of these ores. Like those diamonds I'm going to get. Or that might be just that diamond. Oh, wait, but I've got I've got some friends. I got spiders. And I could use that string. Oh, hello. Discretion, being the better part of valor and all that, we'll let them fight it out. One diamond, which was actually four diamonds, see? Fortune for the win. Okay, I'm just going to poke here just in case there's a couple more hiding away in a diagonal vein. There is not. Grab some iron, grab some gold. Keep an ear out for those baddies, which because they're around the corner. Uh, some more gold. Some lapis. Oh, what's over here? Oh, goodness. And lapis, of course. You get enough lapis as it is with the regular. With the regular pick, but with a fortune pick. Goodness. I see spider eyes down there. See, there's a whole nother area over here. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm not going to deal, I'm not going to do too much exploring here right now, but, oh, that's right, there's copper down here. I know this is the way out, so just so that I can be super secure in that knowledge. Plop. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of what I've been doing, just going in and being very cautious, placing down torches. Oh, some more some ores up here. Um, not not taking a lot of risks, and not just running into places. Oh. Careful of that. There's water up there. So there's probably caves, another set of caves directly above this set, which is kind of kind of wild. So bunch of gravel. Was that spider? Okay. That spot looks dark. 
And I'm I'm not being stingy at all with the with the torches. I've got a little bit of blast protection on my armor. So if I do get snuck up on by a creeper, I will likely survive it. I need to be careful. You can probably hear my dog snoring in the background. Huh. Okay. So let's go. So I think I have, so I keep just pushing out the areas of safety. I can see that as my way out. And I've got another dark area up over here. It looks. Dark and scary. And I, I ended up having to sort of shelter myself because I was getting attacked by skeletons. And let's see this area up here. It's a little bit more light, and I don't know how. See, look at this. This cave gets going way up. And of course, as I light this stuff up, it's going to push the mob spawning into smaller and smaller areas so they could get more and more mobs. Slava will help, though. Careful to catch. Oh goodness, it goes up. There's another layer up there. This is, is this a ravine? Oh goodness. More spiders over there looking at me with their glowing eyes. Oh. Cheaty places where things could spawn. Wow. Okay. Oops. Okay. I think I have some projectile protection on some of my armor too. So like here, it's more light. He probably came from up there. This is probably a really dumb place to linger too much right now. I hear somebody and I don't want to be this close to lava when I'm hearing somebody. Come at me, bro. Oh, this shield's about to die. Did it burn it down there? What? Okay. So let's grab this iron real quick. Obviously, we have much more exploring and lighting to do. And this cave said goes up. And it goes over. Oh, there's some iron up there too. Let's grab the convenient ores. And there's some redstone down there, some more iron. <laughs> And when we get the whole area pacified, we can do another pass just to make sure we have everything. But that big dark hole there is inviting adventure. Okay. So I think we're... I think it's obvious this is the way out, but I don't have a milestone marker here. So let's put one down. This is the way out. So 
So we just push ever so gradually through and make everything lit up and safe. Relatively safe. There might still be some areas here. Let's see, I've got. This should be, this should leave me out. Just keep an eye out for any ores we might have missed. stock and then we can go check and see where the bees are at i don't know if the bees are loaded while we're this far in the cave system but we can see okay it's still light out let's uh i was going to bring this down so let's just dump in here all the goodies that i collected that's not a bad haul for what 15 minutes of running around a cave that's already been mostly lit up. Uh, it's not a bad way of getting experience either. Okay, where did I put those flowers? Flowers. So I don't need the glow lichen out there. Let's grab the flowers. And let's go say hi to the bees. Hello, bee. Where's your buddy? Oh, look at that. Get more honeycomb. Oh, the baby's... Okay, I was too far away. The baby hasn't grown. Oh, wait. Oh, look. Hey, bee, 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 bee. Come here. Come on. Stop scrolling away from the flower. And where are you? Make another bee, please. Make another bee. Ah, so cute. And there's a hive right here for the baby to go into. Excellent. So I've got four bees now. And they're collecting pollen and they're going to make honey and we can make honeycomb. And I can make honey blocks, which are kind of fun. Uh, and then we can make honey bottles. Very nice. Ah, B found a home. And now it's got a high level of zero. I guess he didn't get any pollen. Okay, so maybe I put out a few more flowers around here because they like flowers. Cool. So that's really the update. You start working on the skeleton farm. Um,. I have thoughts on how I'm going to lay it out, make it a little different than the zombie farm, make it a little bit more effective as a farm. And be a good source of bones for bone meal and bone blocks, and that kind of thing. And also XP. Should be a decent XP farm. I'm going to going to soften the mobs a little bit. You need to grow. Um, we still have a little time. Let's get some wood here. Uh, soften the mobs so that they're basically one hit kills. So you can use that for experience or just let mon entity mob cramming kill them to get the bones and arrows. Um, well, I think I'm not quite sure what to, how to deal with or what to do about is spider jockeys. They're pretty rare, but they will spawn and climb the walls. Um, and I think I might just ignore them. I don't know if there's a good way of dealing, dealing with them. So I'll have to do some research on that. It used to be that if you put like iron bars on... Uh, on the sides of the walls, the spiders whoops, were less able to uh, to climb them, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. And what the spiders will do is they will climb up the walls and they will suffocate their uh, the skeletons riding them. Um, 
and then they'll get stuck. They won't be able to go into the the flow. Ow, 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 ow. Um, where the the skeletons will be pushed away from the spawner and up through the softener. So, um, may just have to ignore them, and then if the, the spawner just stops producing, go away and let all the spiders to despawn. Don't know. Okay. Well, that ah, saplings galore from this guy super quickly. Got six saplings plus the four there, and a lot of the leaves haven't even despawned yet. Cool. All right. I think that's. I think that's. I'm gonna call it a day for for now. We got bees starting. I'll get more bees going, and I may once I'm. Fairly sure that I've got like one of these full. Like I know this guy's full. Oh wow, he's got he's already ready for harvesting again. Um <clears throat> But since he's natural, I may leave him out here. I may move him. And then this guy. Uh once I once he's got three bees in it, I may harvest I may break it with silk touch and bring it inside and set up kind of a bee harvesting area inside. I'm going to have plenty of space. Um, another sapling or two or whatever. Jeez. Uh, I have continued digging out here. So we, we go down a bit there. Um, cactus. And this is like super slow cactus farm. But it works. I don't have a need, ton, need for a ton of attack cactus just yet. So I've been digging out this way. I don't know how far I can go before I breach the other side of the mountain. And I think I can go a little ways this way. Um, I'm sort of constrained by the mountain itself. And I can build out this area. I I plan to sort of subdivide this into rooms. So I'd build like a bedroom and maybe move the brewing down here. And I can build little farms and stuff. But I could set up a little area for the bees. And my super slow kelp farm is still chugging away super slowly. And I've got some uh, bone meal that I've been producing from that. So that works. And that's it. So I need to do some more enchanting. I've got backup picks. Um, and I've got starts on a couple other sort of backup. Like another efficiency four pick would be kind of useful to turn him into like a third silky. Um, yeah. And I don't have a good shovel like a diamond shovel and i've got these are like my worn out things and then i need to worry about my shield because it's it's getting pretty low so i've got this here you can't enchant shields but you can put books on them so if i get an unbreaking book i can i can create an unbreaking through shield which would be nice but I have, so I have protection. If I have an efficiency four book. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. Efficiency four. Call him Silky Three. Nice. Now I've got 
multiple backups. <clears throat> so now I can start, um, I could probably start justifying actually mining with the Soak Touch pick so that I get faster mining and uh, start collecting stone instead of cobblestone. So there we go. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I will be... I already have the episode zero, sort of the start episode, up on my YouTube. Um, and I'm probably four or five episodes sort of in the can, ready to go. So we'll, uh, I'll be continuing on with these. Uh, so you can catch these sort of edited episodes. And there's also stuff I've been recording that I haven't been while streaming. So there we go. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right? Bye.